it's time to talk about Giardia, a very common parasite associated with hikers and campers. And in honor of the happiest place on earth, this scene takes place at the Giardia Jungle Ride. And we'll teach you all you need to know about every camper's favorite parasite. The typical story for Giardia transmission is amongst travelers or campers who go to an area endemic to Giardia and drink unfiltered or unpurified water, likely from a stream or river. This water is contaminated by animal or possibly even human feces that contains cysts of Giardia. So technically, Giardia is transmitted by fecal oral transmission. So let's add a poop floating in this river, causing the surrounding water to be poop tinged. As I mentioned, it's the cysts that get transmitted fecal orally. So to illustrate cysts, we'll use our recurring symbol of bubbles and have this stream bubbling right before this waterfall. As I just mentioned, the disease is often associated with camping and can infect people who don't purify their water before drinking it. So we'll give these people on the boat some backpacking backpacks to remind you of the association with campers and hikers. Looks like this guy on the boat has forgotten to purify his water and he's filling his bottle with the poop water. Again, this is illustrating that Giardia is transmitted through poorly purified drinking water. So what happens to these unfortunate people who get Giardia? What can they expect? Well, it causes bloating, flatulence, and foul-smelling diarrhea. And actually, you can remember all of these symptoms really easily by remembering how you feel after eating Taco Bell. Or we can throw in some memory cues for you. Like we can draw some campers holding their noses to remind you of foul smelling diarrhea as opposed to the normal, beautiful smelling diarrhea. An important buzzword that supports giardiasis is steatoria, which means fatty diarrhea. So to represent this, we'll draw a man sitting on a yellow stool. Yellow to remind you of fatty stool, and notice it's not red because it's not producing bloody stools. So the stools become fatty from fat malabsorption. And although the exact mechanism for fat malabsorption is unknown, it's proposed that Giardia stimulates excessive mucus production that impairs the absorptive capacity of the intestine. People with this infection who don't get treated can have significant weight loss and health problems from malabsorption. Do you remember what vitamin deficiencies might occur as a result of fat malabsorption? Right, that would be vitamins A, D, E, and K. Now after you ingest this cyst form, it differentiates into the trophozoite form. They have a very distinctive look that you should be able to recognize. And here's one under scanning electron micrograph. Notice it's flagellated and has these ventral sucking discs that give it its really distinctive look. Now let's look back to the drawing at the side of the boat, to these shields that we're drawing. They have a very similar shape and are also flagellated, and you're likely to see a picture of Giardia that looks similar to these shields on your exams, so if you remember these shields, you should be able to recognize it. The trophozoites attach but do not invade the intestinal wall, which is important because if it doesn't invade, it won't cause bloody diarrhea unlike entamoeba and some of the other bacterial pathogens that we've talked about. The trophozoites can be passed into the stool, which is why some of the shields have fallen off into the water. And we have this man pointing at them, seeing them in the poop water, because finding these trophozoites in the stool is diagnostic. You'd find them if you ordered a stool O&P, or ova and parasites. So we'll write OP on his shirt to remind you of this diagnostic test. Also, some of the trophozoites in the intestine will turn back into the cyst form and also show up on stool OMP, and those are what go and infect other people. Alternatively, you can perform an ELISA stool antigen test to make the diagnosis, so we'll actually title the boat ELISA, a great boat name. Interesting story, I came really close to naming my boat ELISA, but then realized I couldn't because I don't have a boat. Also, remember the boat is floating in the diarrhea water? to remind you that the ELISA is looking for stool antigens. Do any of you out there know how we treat giardiasis? Well, the answer lies in Disneyland, if you've been. Guess what passes just behind the Jungle Cruise? A monorail, which happens to be our symbol for metronidazole. So we'll draw this monorail or metro here to remind you of metronidazole. 
Isn't it just amazing how these symbols work out? So this brings us to the end of our jungle ride. I hope you had a nice tour of the Giardia jungle. And remember to pack yourself plenty of clean water for your hikes, or they may turn into runs. <laughs>